I just took the 4090 out of the salad PC because I want to get it mining again, and we're going to set it up and get it doing that in this video, as long as all the math that I've been thinking about works out right, because salad just really isn't doing much these days, so I figured if I can get a little bit of profit in mining with this card, I might as well switch and do that. And what you're looking at here is my Hive OS. So this is my 40 series test rig. There's a couple cards missing from it, but we are going to add the 4090 back to it in this video. And what it's mining is Alio. And you can see the hash rate fluctuates quite a ton, which makes it difficult to really narrow down how a card is performing. But luckily, you can go over to the stats section here. I chose a seven-day reporting, exported that, and uploaded it over to Google Sheets, and then ran a formula here just to get the averages of each individual GPU's hash over the last seven days. So it should be pretty accurate and get me at least in the ballpark to knowing if these GPUs are profitable or not. But a little bit of this math could be shaky, so we'll see how this does here. So what I want to do as an example is take the 4080 Super that's in there, which is probably the best performing card and most efficient card. I don't know that for a fact, but I'm just going to go with that one for now. And we're going to say uh, that is doing 971 kilohash per second. And what I'm going to do then is just take that number and put it over into this proven calculator that I found for Alio. The first thing I got to do is get the current proof target. So I'm going to go to the Explorer here, copy this in, paste it here. And now I can put in that GPU's performance, which again is just 971408. 71408. We're going to hit calculate. And that's going to show that it's going to make on average per day 0.84 Alio. So, okay. 0.84 Alio. So let's just see what that is in USD with Alio. We'll just say at a buck 40 right now. So let's open up calculator here. And we're going to do 1.40. And we'll times that by that amount, which was 0.84 times 0.84. And in USD, I'm going to bring home We'll just round up $1.18. I'm going to bring home $1.18 on that GPU per day at the way everything currently is right now. But let's see how much power that GPU is using um, to do that work and get paid that. So we're going to go back over uh, to Hive OS. We're going to look at the 48 Super. It's using 188 watts. And I will say this. The wattage stays pretty much the same. It doesn't fluctuate uh, any more than a normal mining algorithm would. So we'll say 188 watts. We're going to go over to this calculator here. Put in 188 watts over 24 hours to convert it to kilowatt hours. And then I'm going to take that and times it by what I think is my current electric rate as I change seasons here. So we'll do 4.512 times 0.14. And that is going to show me that's going to cost in electricity in USD 63 cents to run, but it's going to generate $1.17, $1.18. Uh, thus making it profitable, almost double. It's almost going to bring home um, double revenue that it is uh, doing just to burn the electricity. So that's worth it for me. I could sell something to cover electricity. I could hold it. But it's just nice to see profit coming out. And now I did want to double check myself on that by using a different calculator. So we're just going to take that same amount of solutions per second, put in this other one I found. And let's see, Ooh, we got to change this to solutions per second. And there, yeah, same, same around ballpark. One says 0.84 Alio, the other says 0.82. But either way, that card then, that 4080 Super is definitely profitable. So that brings me to getting this 4090 on there, which should perform even better. And I'm going to get that set up in the rig. All right, let's go get it. Let's go see where this rig is at. Coming over here in the basement. Uh, turn the light on so we can see what's going on here. And then there it is. There's the rig. So I powered it off. So let's get it unplugged and then I'm going to get the 4090 up here. Powered off. Server power supply. That powered off. Oh, Ethernet. Let's get that out of there. And then let's just get this all kind of condensed here. Okay. 
Yep. All right, let's let those fans stop spinning. There's the 4080 Super. And now I'm going to bring this over and we're going to get that 4090 on it. Don't hit the camera. Okay. God. Woo. There she is. This should be kind of wired up already because I had the 4090 on it. But let's see what we have going on here. I definitely need this crazy splitter to hook up to the four eight pins that are coming out of this thing. And then I think I had it all the way in the last slot on here, but now I'm second guessing that because I don't know if it's gonna fit. Um, here's a riser. Let's get that on, GPU risers. And then let's see how I did this last time. Cause yeah, I guess that'll work gonna be pretty close maybe I'll shift over some of the cards that are on here I don't think it's gonna run that warm uh, let's see Need Allen key I think I can shift yeah let's just shift some of these over for now clean that up quite a bit got the cards spread out did some cable management last thing I got to do is just get this 4090 hooked up to power now I have a ATX power supply in here, which is a thousand watt, and then I have a uh, 1200 watt HP server power supply in here as well. Everything's on the HP server power supply that's currently on this, which means this 4090 is going to go on that 1000 watt ATX power supply just to balance out the load uh, a little bit here. I do have plans to add more 40 series cards on this rig. I have one upstairs in my main PC. That used to be on here. That's the 4070 Ti Super. I'm also looking to pick up a vanilla 4070 Ti. So this is going to just expand uh, over time. But for now, we'll get this set up as is. And then I also have a splitter coming off of uh, the riser, which is going to be perfectly safe to send power both to the riser and to the GPU over a single 8-pin cable. If you're curious around how the electrical and all of this works. I'll leave a very old but still very relevant video uh, up in the card above in case you are building the rig and just happen to stumble upon my video. So that's it. That's all the 40 series cards except the one that I have upstairs currently on this rig. So now let me get it back over to its home and we'll fire it up and we'll do some current testing. I'll tell you what overclocks I'm planning to use on this 4090 and why. All right, back in its home. Oh. Well, almost dropped it. Uh, all right, what do we need? We gotta get some power back in. Do you server power supply? Oh, uh, actually that's fine. And then we're gonna do the ATX power supply. And then let's get ethernet installed on here power button and I think we're looking good 4090 fan is spinning all the other cards fans are spinning and they're ready to go let's go check it out in Hive OS this always happens to me on initial boot does this happen to anybody else where a card will get the malfunction error and then you got to restart it but it looks like I anyway have to switch the positions of the 4090 and 4080 super so they can be in order. So let me go run and do that, and that should fix this anyway. GPUs are now in the right order, and the 4070 fix itself on reboot as it always does. So the next thing I'm looking at is what overclocks, what core lock I wanna run on this GPU. Now you can see it does best with a 5001 on the memory that is good on every single card. But what I do wanna figure out is what uh, lock core clock I wanna run on this. And what I've done for the other cards is just find an algorithm or several algorithms that I found really efficient core locks on and just borrowed those over, figuring they're gonna be about the same because of the hash rate fluctuations on this algo, it's just really hard to overclock and see results at this point in time. So I went back and looked at some of the 4090 testing I did a while ago, just to see what core locks I found to be really efficient at those times. Uh, and you could see some of the coins I was mining back then, back then, Alephium, the original Ironfish, Dynex, 
rest in peace, Pyrian, Pyrin, whatever, however you say it. I, I guess it doesn't matter anymore, does it? And so on those, I was running 2460, 2490, 2475. So I think anywhere in that ballpark is going to get me the most efficient hash uh, for power usage in mining Alio here. So let's just go with 2475. I like that one. I'm going to input that in here. Now, what I found on all these 40 series cards is that it just is either detrimental or makes no difference to do a core clock offset like I would do with the 30 series. And so I just don't use it. And I've done a ton of testing. Maybe I'm missing something. Let me know your experiences down in the comments section. But anyway, I'm not going to do that. No power limits because I got the memory lock and the core lock set. So I just don't need it. Let's set that. Um, I have auto fan speed set to 50% as I test these. Let's go ahead and restart this miner. We'll open up the shell. Uh, take a look at it. Make sure everything gets up and mining. So let's go take a look. All right, all the GPUs are starting here. Uh, you can see them there. And if you're curious, I'm using zk.work for all of this. That's the mining pool that I'm uh, using. And I'm using their uh, prover for Alio to do all of this. So looking good so far. Let's just make sure this gets running. You see power usage is going up. Using about 330 watts on that card right now. Now, what we won't be able to do is get a good idea of profitability because it's. I'm going to have to let this run for 24 hours or more to get average hash rates. But I did take a look as a little bit of a sanity check over at hashrate.no to see what they're reporting. And it looks like I'm right in the same ballpark for my core lock on this specific, uh, specific GPU. Um, and right now they're saying about 89 cents, almost a dollar in profit for a 10 cent electric rate. My electric rate is a little higher than that, but still really good profit. I always take these websites with a grain of salt. And once I do get some 24 hour or a week hash rate, I'm gonna do exactly what I did in the beginning of this video. Uh, and put it into some of my own calculators that I found just to see its results. So up and going right here. That's going to wrap up this video, getting the 4090 mining again. I'll do a follow-up at some point showing what it's doing in profitability. But I think and hope this is a better call than leaving it idle on salad when there's just not a lot of work coming its way. Hope you enjoyed the video. Links for everything down in the description. Discord if you want to hang out. Leave a comment if you have any thoughts. Uh, hit the like button on your way out. Please take care of yourself and each other, and I'll see you in the next video.